generally, a lot of people, if you ask the average girl, lady today, what is the vagina, they would point to the entire region. You see? But there's a huge difference between the vagina and what they point to as the vagina. The, this, this region is called the vulva. Now, around that region, the majora, there's the labia minora, mm. there's the vagina itself, there's the vagina, or there's the vagina opening, there's the service, the end of the service, where the end of the vagina, which introduces you to the, to the service, and then going further into the uterus. Why is it important for a girl to know the difference between the vulva, the vagina, and the entrance of the service and all of that? Take, for example, cervical cancer. If cervical cancer is developing, it most likely will start at the tip of or the opening of the cervix, which is at the end of the vagina. But this girl has no idea that the vagina is actually that inner tube, which is a receptive, um, whatever, uh, is a receptacle. And the end of it begins another sensitive part of the body that she needs to know, so that she can be able to tell somebody or a physician that I am feeling a certain sensation or pain or itch or some kind of sore feeling in there. I don't feel it in the vagina because she knows that the vagina is the wall and is the receptacle. And she can say that what I'm feeling, I'm not feeling it in the vagina, but I'm feeling it at the end, at the edge of something that is deeper inside. Because she knows that at the end there is the beginning of the service. And she can't describe this. But if she just says that she's feeling pains around the vagina, and, when, and then when they ask her and she says this area, it is not going to come to the mind of the physician that perhaps something is developing that needs attention. So if we say you are giving scientifically accurate education, we are saying that do not water down the content of the information you are giving to young people. Teach them what they need to know. But importantly, age appropriately. Begin from where they can best understand and most suitable to them. And as they grow, you advance it. Don't just give a blanket information and say that the, the, the genital area needs to be kept clean and hygienic. And that's all you have given the young person. You have not helped this girl. 